welcome to a double Dragon Neo Geo tournament. Let's get ready to spectate. On the left hand corner we have Universal Quantifies Abobo, and on the right hand corner we have Ninlias Dalton. Ninlia is playing as TV Satutu or TV Statutu. That's gonna be as seen on TV Ninlia. Going for those troubles, both players do have a command trap cell move. And here we see the double jumping mechanic of the game. Also you'll notice that there's no separate super meter, instead you have this charge indicator. That is your super. Your super is ready when the charge is blinking. And then what you'll note while we're doing this and when we're playing is players get stunned really easily. It's just two combos or some strong normals and you will have stunned your opponent and you are pretty much free to do any special combo you wish out of that. But you can also mash out of a stun and if your opponent is not fast to do his pursuit and maybe you fly far away from your opponent you can also mash out of a stun. And you'll notice some stun icons on the flying characters as well. You'll also note that there are some stage elements that can be broken and when you knock down your opponent and it flies to those, it's extra damage. One, one, Universal Quantifier and Ninli are starting off the first match with a very even bout. Let's see, who's gonna be the first one up? Both players, kind of tentative here in the beginning. Double jumping in, Universal Quantifier. Ninlia doesn't get the entire air, a universal quantifier, he fo follows up with a combo. Not fast enough with the pursuit. And Ninlia goes for these attacks, let's see universal quantifier finds a punish. There, getting too close and gets grabbed. And another grab and that's all she wrote, universal quantifier 1 up, Ninlia does get a continue button press. This is a double elimination format tournament. Idea is, if you lose your match, if you lose your f best out of 3 first to 2 match, you are gonna drop into the loser's bracket and you still get to fight. Now the winner of the loser's bracket is gonna be our second finalist and the winner of the winner's bracket is gonna be our other finalist. Makes sense? That's the double elimination format that we're playing. So let's get let's stop spectating this. Universal quantified the one up. You'll notice that Dalton has a projectile attack, a fast version and a slow version, but both every character has this double jump. So it's kinda easy to dodge projectiles. Dalton is charging up his projectiles and doing keep away style moves. Not good enough. Universal Quantifier gets close, gets within rage and starts chipping out some damage. Special connecting into a barrel. 8 hits are not enough but the projectile certainly is. Round 1 goes to Ninlia. Dalton with a W. Looking kinda faster than Dalton play. Hard to get close to. A Bobo up close will do significant damage. Starting off with the foam. And you'll see that the game has a counter indicator. And if you look closely at the life bar, you're gonna see that there is yellow life, red life and blue life. Blue is your remaining. And then once you run out of yellow life, you are gonna be stunned. So there is a stun meter in this game, kinda. Abobo with the W, 1-1. Universal Quantifier on a match point. So both players now at full health, pay attention here. And there's a little bit of damage going out. And now we are seeing some stun. Nice double dragon strive. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there is another fighting game out there that the community is interested in, but it cannot be as big as this game. I mean, look at these specials, look at these supers. Strive has nothing on this. Universal Quantifier. 2 no, 2 nil. Nin Liel drops to the loser's bracket. Universal Quantifier continues in the winner's bracket. That's the first match done and out of the way. Second match is me versus Freon. I'm gonna make myself available to be challenged. Let's see if I'm player 1 or player 2. I should be player 1. I should be doing the challenging, but let's see if Freon is ready for action. As is the case usually here, when I'm playing it's gonna be a little less talking and a little more button pressing. And this is for me a button pressing kind of game. I did figure out a way to do a 5 hit combo. That's pretty much the best of it. I figure that you can, you can link into a special or you can hit confirm and then do a special. You can end your combo with a super. That's pretty much the stuff I figured out. <laughs>
And that's a challenge sound, but that's unfortunately the role play, and I'm gonna have to delay that. Isa Zayed from Barra and asking me to play, and I hate to say no to another community member, but I am waiting for Freyan's challenge. Let's see if Freyan is ready to play. Well, we are gonna chill here. I'm gonna drink a little bit more of that invisible water while I'm waiting for the proper challenge. That's the good stuff. That's good water. Hey, that is the right challenge. That's a loud sound. Sorry about that. First to do against Freyon. Let's go. Let's play some Double Dragon Neo Geo version. Me, I'm gonna be playing as Chen Fu. Chen Fu. And Chen Fu is a uh, shorter style. A shorter style character, but it's a bit of a beatdown character. It doesn't have a projectile. Let's go. Well, I got it. I should have done a bigger combo when I got the stun, but hey, I'll take it. Round two, let's go. That's a far hit. And I shouldn't jump in against Marin. At all. Could not jump in. I did win. I did go for the super, but I lost round. Hey, Frey, I'm changing your game plan. That's good. Let's go. Let's have a good match. Oh, his, his move beats one. Unfortunate. Got it. Air blocking, it's a thing. Neutral jumps do air block. You can use your neutral jumps for air defense. Your forward dash, I hope not so much. But Freya did find a good move, and I'm a little worried here. That was a button. I think I did. Let's get out of okay. And it's an overhead. Oh, I got chipped. Unfortunate. I was ready for that. I didn't press a button. I was in a downward block. And I cannot, I cannot taunt out of that. I have this taunt move. It doesn't work against that BS. But if he does with it, I can punish. I just kind of beat it. I just kind of beat that. And I tried to connect with the spell super. No. That move is hard to find an answer to. It beats everything that I do pretty much, so I need to bait it out and then punish. But it's so far, it's so damn far. It does start a few though. Yeah, just spamming that. Oh, 
Ah, and now he has a special. Oh, super. Well, I got the throw. <laughs> I pressed a button. I don't get to press a button? Okay. Oh, I B. <sighs> Pressing buttons is, feels so bad. <laughs> Pressing buttons feels, just, feels so rubbish. I can beat that on certain frames. That's rough. With. Yeah, the corner pressure is real. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> what a rubbish bot. I mean, no offense to Freya, what a rubbish bot. <laughs> anyway, got the W. Oh man. Ugh. <laughs> it's a chat. Oh, oh god. Ugh. Yeah, second match of the tournament is that. At least I beat the uh, hang die spam, so there's that. There's that. there's not some value to me beating that. Oh god. Right. Uh, we do have a third match coming up. And since we only have five players, it means that I get to play against in match three I get to play against the Snow Wolverines Jin. So let's see what the next match is gonna be like. Snow Wolverine, let's go, let's have a good ball. Lumiama. We are going to have a battle, and at least we are not going to see another Marion yet. There we go, Lumi Ahom with the first of two challenge, let's play more. I mean, we had a fun time with that last match, kinda, hopefully. So let's see if we can do, I mean, yeah, well, Lumi Ahom has a bit of an advantage. He's seen my stuff, he knows what I can do. But he also is kinda difficult to defense against the Cheng Fu mix up. So, what does he have? Charge. The charge move is press all four buttons. Ah, well, easy to execute. Media battle in my home stage, let's go. Up your suit. She's special, beat my special. I, I went for it, he went for it, and his move was stronger. Could have gone for maybe the faster one, faster version. But I got it on chip. Just keep up the pressure when the opponent is doing crazy stuff. This dude has a uh, transformation. I'm getting beat here. Special cancelled. And no, couldn't connect with the second special. 1-1 one, one, is it? Or did I take a loss? I took a loss, yeah. Yeah, I was too excited. 
Now, I didn't get halfway through his life bar, but then again, I do some big damage when I connect. Let's put a GG credit in there. Let's hit that continue button. Let's see what I can dig up. I don't want to drop into the loser bracket to fight the Marion again. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, okay, jumpings are so bad. Cannot touch that, absolutely cannot. Did the bait out. But I got hit with that. I did bait out the move and I got my reward for it. But it's not enough. Come on now, let's not go too little here. Mm -hmm. Get up, bring it up. Oh, he's got a wig. Wrong call. And just a Punch to punish. Oh my goodness. <sighs> do it all, do it all. Oh, but I don't actually have to fight against Marian yet. Hey, Snowball Brain, good fight. More fun. Nice uh, patient gameplay there. GG's. Very patient of you to play that way. Uh, I was afraid I would have to do Marian again, but uh, actually, it's Ninlia who gets to do the Marian fight next. So there's that. And it was kind of close though, just a little bit, had I done a little bit better? Yeah, why not? Could have been good, could have been good, but the match was fun. The game is fun to play, regardless of the jankiness. Now would I buy this and play this every evening? Maybe not, maybe not. But hey, them's the breaks. Not every game is gonna be your absolute favorite. Yeah, you plays. Ninli and Freyon, let's go. Let's have a GG here. Hope, Ninlia, that you are not too rusty after your long holiday. Marianne is ready. But Dalton does have a projectile. Marianne won't be able to spam as much as in my match. And Marianne knows this. Goes for the offense. Ah, hand eye connecting. And the corner pressure. With a safe hand of variation. Took taking a nice lead here. Now Freyon has a charge ready, but gets thrown. And that hurts. Ninja with a lot of lead. With the pursuit. And the super dodges a projectile. Freya knows this and an excellent use of super. Now the punish. No punish. The punish would have killed there. The attack was not enough to cheap. Uh, Freyr had the opportunity, but he went for a short kick and <laughs> he didn't connect. What a pity. Probably looking for a combo there. A special would have. The hang tide in that situation would have won the game. Two hit combo. Ninja throw connecting. That's a rough looking throw. Freyr in trouble, but doesn't let Ninja charge up. Blocks and special to punish. Well punished there. Freya looking stronger by every blow, after every exchange. Well, Ninja finds the punish to hentai spam, but the super doesn't connect all the way. It's a double counter, Marian goes down, Dalton stays up, Ninja with the one up. That was close, and that was a better looking match. Freya has learned to play a little bit more. I taught him all he knows. <laughs> anyway, let's go, let's have a GG. In the arcade, nonetheless. What are they playing on the screens in the back? There's a huge screen. And a spinning robot thing? I think they're playing Double Dragon, the movie screens there on the big screen. Yeah, and a Technos fighting game there. Or maybe it's a. Uh, there's an airplane shooting kind of game? And the uh, Double Dragon, the movie playing. 
So, an interesting background, if nothing else. Ninli are taking the round win here. Freyon in real trouble. Ninli are a match point. Ninli's match point. This is all for Ninli to win. And the first throw connects for huge damage. That's a nice command move. Charging the projectile. Two hits connecting out of three. One, two, three. Makes four sound effects. Is that a four hit projectile? At fully charged? Super connecting. Good use of that Marion Super. But those hits. Freyon cannot avoid those hits. And Ninlia takes a W. Ninlia stays in the battle. Freyon is dropped out of the tournament. GG is Freyon. And that means that the next match is gonna be me versus Ninlia. So I'm gonna make myself available for challenging and we are gonna be keeping we are gonna keep we are gonna keep this moving at a brisk pace is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. We are gonna keep this moving at a brisk pace. There we go, I got it. I got it. Next match. Ninli has told me. He's seen me play, I've seen him play. It's an equal footing. We both have approximately equal amounts of practice in the game, so I am ready. <laughs> yeah, with the hydrate request, let's go. Let's have a drink for a while. Invisible water, my favorite. Now I'm good to play, thanks for that. <laughs> you didn't even know how to throw in this game. <laughs> Back to pasta. Happy that you played, happy to have you participate. Ninlia. Ready to play? Hope so. I am free to accept a challenge. It is indeed our bout next. We've got the next match coming up in just a second. We are we playing? Ninlia is not I cannot challenge him, he's not available on fight kid so i'll have to wait for his challenge i am available to be challenged though so should he be ready i'm ready and that's not nearly as challenged that is xian xian 985 say chinese best challenge let me challenge nearly instead to a first to two battle here we go we are now getting ready to play chen fu Too bad we don't have all the characters in this tournament. It would be fun to showcase some other characters as well. The ninja stage especially is fun. And I matched out of it, but when I keep mashing, then he gets to hit me. But I did match out of it. Pretty fast nice mash. Let's do it again. Let's bring the offensive. Nice. No, I got thrown out of the mash. And that didn't connect. I absolutely thought that that would connect. I went for the aerial hit into my special, on the, into my super, and it did not connect, and that's a bit of a surprise. I thought I had the life lead almost covered there with when I connected. No, that's not the case, Ninja goes one up. Ah, uh, good play, good play. And I will need to play a significantly different style, but I, I was kind of passive in that. And if I stay passive, Dalton will just throw, uh, do those dashing throws and just will just throw the damage. And he has a throw, and it's dangerous. The 
air block. <laughs> Massive air block. Uh, okay, how's that hitbox working? No, not a chance. Uh, that's a perfect for Ninja. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's rough, Faith. Oh, perfect, yeah. Getting me close, kind of painful. Yeah, you don't get the charge. Waiting, baiting. I thought he might make a move. Not enough. Not enough. I, I was hoping to be a little faster there. Getting close before he pulls off the move, and it wasn't a great plan. Almost had it though. Almost had it. Thanks for the match. GG Ninja. I am out of it with that. Man. The perfect stings. The perfect stings. But there's the breaks. And that's just fighting games for you. So we are gonna be inspected from now on. Gonna make myself away. GG's, GG's. I'm gonna make myself away from this and I'm gonna stay as expected. And next up, we are gonna be moving into the semi final stage of the tournament. It's been a very short tournament so far, and we are at the semi finals. First up, we are gonna have the winner semi final of Lumi Ahma versus Universal Quantifier. Yeah, that's the second hundred. Cheers. Now, I kinda did anticipate this, and there is a maximum amount of hydrations per stream that we were scanned. Actually, claim. So I did. I did not anticipate this. <laughs> cool down, boy. Yeah, and it's deserved. Uh, having a little sip is well deserved after a rough bout. Oh, I'm more than halfway down with my invisible water. Here. I know you can't see it, but it's a fact. Anyway, back to the match. And that life bar is so hard to read with some of it being different colors. It's it's an actually a confusing life bar. Now that both players are showing red and blue only it's easier. Right. And now that Lumiyama has the uh, mode switch done. In the blue part is the super middle, right? <laughs> I mean it is still a confusing meter, because initially I thought that was a stun meter. But yeah, I know, it's a comeback mechanic, and I, I did identify that, that it's a comeback mechanic. When you're low on life, you get the super faster. Muku thinks this game looks stupid. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not a high bar set by the other bar games we've played, you know. This pretty much is par for the course, for the other stuff that we've played. Anyway, Mukko, I'm happy to have you here. Even if you're not, even if you're not playing, I'm happy to have you here in the uh, audience. Right, Universal Quantifier with 1-up. At this rate, Nimia, you get to fight Snow Wolverine. But we'll see. Lumiyama's Jimmy is actually getting some work done against the Bobo here. Not that much work, but still some work. Super charge, get. Oh, there's a jump in against Jimmy when Jimmy has to meet already. And that's the mode change. And now Snow Wolverine is ready to do projectiles and ready to do this fast leap, leap kick out and oh, and it's huge damage. That is a full ground crowned attack. It will hit full screen on the ground. So you have to be in the air. Lumia Manu this and was in the air. Gets the Dragon Punch in and takes a W here. Now up by one round, of course, down one match. A couple of early hits for me, Amma. You're doing well. And a nice counter punch there. Now getting in for some water pressure. 
baits out a Bobo's big move and into the stage change. This is gonna be this is gonna be Lumiahma strong. A Bobo looking at moves though. Lumiahma looking stronger than ever with one one. Now if Lumiahma keeps this up, if he keeps doing this, Universal Quantifier will have to make big changes in his game plan in order to keep up. That was kind of strong. Well played, Lumiahma. Well. Played. Well, he did get practice against me. Abobo Stroll connecting, it's massive damage. It's just massive. And a double jump after the hit connects is an interesting bit of move. But if you get knocked down on the ground, you have no way of mashing out if Abobo has super. Abobo super will hit you anywhere on the ground. It'll do full damage, so if Abobo gets a knockdown with a super meter ready, you are in for a world of hurt. You'll, ha you'll have to have significant life, but if you are already stunned, it's very difficult to survive Abobo's super. It's just a very good move. A bit of a combo there. Lumiama gets the shape change, but will that be enough? He can play keep away with projectiles, he can do fast moves on the ground, but is it enough? Goes in close. It's a part of a combo, but does an unsafe move and universe, universal quantify with a punish. Big punish there. One up, oh, and that is universal quantify. Two one. Our first finalist is gonna be universal quantify. Now let's see if it's gonna be Ninja or Lumia. That's still for the losers' semi-finals to decide. I would consider the losers' finals, but in the brackets it says semi. So. Whichever you prefer. We are gonna have the last match of the losers. That's gonna be Lumiahmo versus Ninlia, Jimmy versus Dalton, and Universal Quantifier is our other finalist. Now let me get the vote ready. As a reminder, there is a vote for the final spinner. Final spinner is either Universal Quantifier or something else, and I am going to allow you to vote with your channel points for that once the final starts. Not for this match, but when the final starts. So at least for the fighting games, that is a way to use your channel points. You place. Go ahead. I am ready for it. Let's get rid of the part of the my webcam. And now it's good. So, as a reminder, winner of this goes to the finals, loser of this goes home. And it's a fast game ish. We've been playing for. We've been online for an hour, which means that we've been playing for 30 minutes on. Hmm. Well, early play. Lumia has a bit of a lead, but now it's all even. And Dalton get, connects with the. connects with the uh, big troll there. But I think the projectile battle is going to be interesting. If Ninja gets to charge his projectile, it's gonna be a 3 hit projectile, it's gonna beat whatever Lumiama throws. But if he doesn't get to charge, Lumiama's projectiles are just coming out faster. And Lumiama takes the first W. Takes the first initial lead here. Good fight, good fight. Surprising that he didn't connect. I would have expected that to connect, fully would have expected that to connect. Nice double jump there, good skills. Still double jumping. Ninlia might be able to punish that soon. But there is an air mix up with that spinning move. The spinning bird kick in air, the, you can mix it up a little bit. Make those jump ins a little bit more unpredictable. India with the special. Oh, super. Lumia with the dragon punch and a projectile. That's also a multi hit projectile, it appears. Lumia with the super ready, but it's not necessary. He'll just do the uh, charge stop special and goes one up. Looking for that final splice. But Ninja does get to press continue. And a little bling sound there for the credit. That's a GG credit. Learn that from the French community. Press credit button for GG's. Here we go. Advantage Lumiama. And we are finding a. Um, is this a new stage? It's a flooded burning city. That's rough. That's a whole disaster area kind of situation. Day of disaster situation coming up here. But there are people doing sick tricks on their water skis in the background. 
So not all is not all is terrible in the uh, future Hollywood. Neither no, move correcting, but Lumiama has the full meter. Has the full meter. Oh, goes for the closing projectile as a mix-up. Unfortunate, but gets a punish. Next hit is gonna kill. And Nimlia goes for the charge. It takes too long, and Lumiama with a pixel of life takes a W. Now on a match point. That was a pixel of a health win. And both players going for the fireball duel. Interesting, interesting stuff. First hit, Lumiama's counter. Both players are purple, so it's kind of hard to keep track of them until Jimmy changes form into Ultimate Jimmy, or Jimmy X, or Super Jimmy, or whatever you prefer. No barrel break yet. That's a classic looking barrel, by the way. That is the, the barrel sprite. That's the way barrel sprites are supposed to look. Right then, back up. The classic barrel. And that's what every post-apocalyptic fighting, post fighting situation should have, is breakable barrels. The super is ready. The projectile spam is not gonna work. It's gonna have to be a hit connection here. Both players have special supers ready. <laughs> oh, it's just an air kick. And Ninlia takes a W, fighting back the same tournament. Well done, well done, well done. 1-1, one, one. we have one another match point. Baiting a jump in. Now jumping in, gets losses to a mid-air button, just a regular button press, not a lot of damage, but still. That will charge Lumiahma's super meter and it will take a little bit of life away from Ninja's Dalton here. The throw connects and the throw is half a meter of damage. Now stunned. Hmm, Dragon Punch comes out after a transformation, that's what Lumiahma has been doing so far. If the opponent is close, he will go for that. A nice pressure, takes a W. I was still talking about the DB, but Lumiahma already did the W. So, our second finalist here is going to be Lumiahma. So, I am gonna put it to vote. Who do you think the finals winner is gonna be? That's gonna be there for your channel points to be used for. That's uh, pretty much the best use you get out of your channel points in these fighting game tournaments, is to vote. And I'm sorry, if you don't prefer, if you don't prefer gambling, then, you know, not a problem. Not a problem at all. But if you don't find another useful industry for your points, there's at least a points outlet. We do have some points. We do have some points for Lumiahma. Let's see if we can get any takers for Universe of Quantifier. Me as a streamer, I have independent points, but I don't get to vote. So use, your, use those flaming drops for the vote unless you are opposed to gambling. And I'm gonna pick up the finals here. You had to book out and you're smoothing on 5 Ninlia. Oh no. Why did you change it to 5 in the first place? <laughs> Messy bird, because Freya didn't want to accept your blessing. Yeah, I thought it was a jinx. Not a blessing. Anyway. Oh, you had to play against Italianos and Brits. For your practice, right? Anyway. Let's start spectating this. Finals here. Initial stun, and now bubble pressure coming out. Now, Lumiyama does have the super ready and will be able to do some significant damage from this situation. Abobo has a ground slam, but you cannot safely jump in against that ground slam. It's a very good super move, and I think Lumiyama just learned that. That's a rough way to learn how the super moves, though, in the finals. That was painful. Absolutely dirty. I mean, it's a very situational super move, but when you are, when you have the correct timing for it, it's an absolutely dirty move. And Lumiama doesn't have an opportunity to transform here. Because Abobo can punish that transformation. It doesn't. It ends in a neutral jump and can block a attack. But Abobo throw connects. A bubble transformation throw connects, and it's one up Universal Quantifier. Now remember, Universal Quantifier is coming in for the winner's bracket side of things, so he will be our grand champion if he takes the next match.
we'll see how it goes. Let's see if Lumia Hawk can get the transformation in on time. Let's see if he can do some damage instead of get smacked down by the above or super. Those are going to be the key factors deciding this match. A nice speed there connecting. And another. Okay, is that going to work a third time? No, it's not. But the sweep has been good so far for Lumia. Gets knocked off midair and then when you are stunned on the ground, you are going to get punished. Now that's a bad situation to be in, you cannot take a hit, but yeah. Umiyama is transformed, so he can do some surprise damage, he just cannot survive any attacks. So getting those hits in while being safe, not the easiest thing to do. And as we see, Ababo finds a way in and it's match point for Universe of Quantic by looking for that finals W. Let's go Lumiyama, die the series, you can do it. And a Dragon Punch, non-transformed Dragon Punch connecting. Going for a cross-up, but it hits on the front. Surprised that the Abobo is so safe. I thought the jump would have been safe. We hit combo. And Lumiama with a life lead. It's gonna be almost gone after that throw. And the second throw is gonna be not, not enough. Dragon Punch also enough. Next hit decides. Lumiama. Continues with the projectile connecting. Maybe it cheaped enough. Still, Lumiahma is back in it with a W. Universal Quantify is still on a match point. Let's see if Lumiahma can at least type one one. I do hope so. I do like seeing even matches here on stream. This is looking rough. The throw connects. On ground, super coming in. Bam, 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 and that's all she wrote. You cannot get stunned and thrown down against a bubble. And with that super, Universal Quantifier is our winner. GG's, thanks for playing.